Hey, peeps, where are we? We are in my beautiful kitchen. Yes, my beautiful kitchen. Today we are doing, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it something different today. We're gonna call it Mindset Monday. What do you think? Mindset Monday. It's not gonna be Motivational Monday today. It's gonna be Mindset Monday. And you say, why are we gonna call it Mindset Monday? Because it's always about your mindset. Really, that's what it boils down to. You have to get your mindset right in order to succeed. Okay, so while we're talking today, I'm going to be doing some cooking. That's the other part of me that some of you don't know. Yes, I love to cook, but I don't like to cook every day. I'm not one of those, ooh, let me just cook something amazing every single day. No, 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 no. But when I do want to cook, I'm an amazing cook. Like I have my favorite dishes I love, love, love to make. Like my homemade chicken noodles. Some of you have seen me do those videos of my homemade chicken noodles where I actually make my noodles, roll out my noodles, dry my noodles, cut my noodles, everything. So today, I've always kept leftover turkey. Like whenever I do turkey for Thanksgiving or holidays or whatever, I always have leftovers and I always just freeze it because why? When I want to make homemade chicken noodles or homemade chicken tortilla soup. All I gotta do is pull the frozen turkey out of the freezer and thaw it out and voila. And you know, the other day you saw me do a party platter of vegetables and salamis and cheeses and fruit and everything to take to a friend's house. Well, guess what? I have it left over. Uh-huh, you always have leftovers. So I have leftover vegetables. So I said, hey, why not? Why not? In this pan already, I've added water and I've added a container of organic chicken broth. So I've already put that in the pan with some water. And then I just, I like to add even more chicken flavor. And so I add my chicken bouillon. So in this container, which is a very large pan. I've already done water, a container of organic chicken broth, and some, so I'm just gonna put that over here. We're gonna get ready to turn it on so that the water's hot and boiling before I start taking, sticking vegetables in. And then we're gonna sit here and chit chat about mindset. Well, guess what? I have to have my mindset right for me to wanna cook too. Like there's some days where there's no way in hell I'm gonna cook because my mind ain't into it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be unhappy doing it. But today, my mindset's there. My mindset's like, mm, oh, I wanna chop some vegetables and I wanna talk to you guys. So, let's get started. chopped up, finally got all the turkey chopped up. But we're gonna go into mindset. Um, let me turn this back up. So, mindset. You wanna know why mindset is so important? Well, just like me, I have to have the right mindset to be able to be good at cooking. Because I, if I don't have the right mindset, I'm gonna just be pissed. I'm gonna like, I, I'm not even gonna wanna do it. So, mindset is important when you are doing things. I have to have the right mindset to work out right, to get a good workout in. I'm telling you, if I have a bad mindset, my workout will suck. I won't even want to go to the gym. I won't even like, so that's what I'm trying to get at today, guys, is mindset is everything. Mindset is important when you're Cooking mindset is important when you're working out. Mindset is important when you're trying to do a business deal. Mindset is important when you're trying to film a YouTube video. Mindset is important no matter what. Let me start throwing some of this in here. So you're like, I just don't understand why mindset is so important. I don't understand. Let's put it in. A, let's put it into a perspective that maybe. 
some of you can comprehend better. It's like an athlete. It's like, say you're an athlete and you're trying to get a spot on the Olympic team. You don't think you need to have the mindset of a winner to be able to compete so well that you out-compete your competitors because you know there's only so many spots to be able to be on the team, right? It, it, they have to have the right mindset. Here's another one. You know, just recently, uh, the last weekend or two, I had two friends that competed for their pro cards in Pittsburgh. One was Christian Guzman, family friend, and another one was my ex personal trainer that I trained with years ago, uh, Brandon Berryhill. Both of them had to go into the mindset that they were going to come home with the pro card. So through all of their training, whether it was Brandon's 20 weeks or 16 weeks or 12 weeks, whatever it was, and, and whether it was Christian's 24 weeks, it just doesn't matter. Me, being an ex-athlete myself and a competitor, you have to have that mindset that you're a winner. You have to continually have that mindset that you are a winner and you're going to come home a winner. You can't go in with a half-assed attitude of, well, I might get it, I might not, I don't know. And that, that, that is true in life in general. I have to wake up every day with the mindset of, I'm going to do good today. I'm going to accomplish everything today. I'm going to film a kick-ass video today. I'm going to get so much done on Fashion Woodlands today. I, I, I'm going to cook this amazing meal today. I mean, like, mindset is literally everything when it comes to life, when it, be, when it comes to being successful as a business person. I just, I can't reiterate how important mindset is. Mindset is your attitude. Do you, do you think that somebody that wakes up on the wrong side of the bed and has a shitty attitude that day is gonna be successful at what they do that day? No. Those people, when if you're someone that wakes up on the wrong side of the bed and you have a shitty attitude, I'm, I'm gonna guarantee you that shitty attitude, your mindset that day is gonna produce crap. You're not gonna be worth crap. Like everything you touch or everything you do that day, you're gonna feel so, you're, you're gonna be like, oh my God. You ever hear that saying of, um, and uh, people normally say it on a Monday, oh my God, I, it's a typical Monday, everything's going to crap. I mean, I don't even know why people say that, and I could be saying it wrong, but like a lot of people say that like on a, like a Friday the 13th, like, like it's a bad, Mojo day. If you're gonna have a bad day, it normally happens on a Monday. Like, oh my God, you can tell it's a Monday. Everything's going to shit. Everybody says that about a Monday, though. Like a lot of people really do. No, I know a lot of people say that about Mondays. But the, I've heard that so much. Like, but why is that? It's because somehow they woke up on a shitty. They woke up in a shitty mood, and everything they've done that day is shitty. And so then they're gonna blame. Oh God, you can just tell it's a Monday. Everything's gone to shit. It's just a typical Monday. And I'm like, no, it's not a typical Monday. It's because something caused you to wake up in a bad mood and now everything that you've done today, you're blaming it on that Monday because that's supposedly what Mondays are supposed to be like. You know me, I always think Mondays are the greatest days. To me, it's Mondays do a fresh, fresh start of a new day, a new week, fresh new beginnings, because that's my mindset. That is my mindset on a Monday. That is my mindset. My mindset is I'm going to make today a gosh darn great day. That's what my Mondays are all about. So, once again, mindset is everything. If you wake up on a Monday and you already get your mind set it, that it's going to be a kick-ass wonderful day, chances are everything you do on that Monday is going to be amazing. Chances are. Mindset is everything. It's, and and that just, it's true with with business, with life, with marriage, with competing, with everything. Like, your mindset is everything. It is your attitude. Look up the definition of mindset. It's an attitude.
I want to have that attitude of a winner. I want to have the attitude of success. And so, getting your mindset right is three-fourths of the battle. Three-fourths of the battle. So, I want to cook a kick-ass meal. So, my mindset is, by God, this is going to be good. I'm going to make sure this is going to be good. So, we have done the chicken broth. We've done the bouillon. We've now thrown in the vegetables. I want the vegetables to start uh, softening up before I put the turkey meat in. Um, my twin grandsons don't like tomatoes. Normally I do throw some tomatoes in here, but because they don't like tomatoes, we're not going to throw tomatoes in this one. They also don't like onions. So, because they don't like onions, but I like the onion flavor, we're going to use some either onion powder or onion salt. Uh, I think I've got onion powder. So we're going to throw some onion powder in as well as some, I think somewhere I've got some onion flakes. But anyways, I have onion flakes anyways, right now we're going to throw in onion powder. Because I want that flavor and because the twins don't like onions, we're going to try to cheat just a little bit and we're going to um, throw in, I need to actually take this lid off. We're going to throw in, because the steam is making it all moist, I'm going to just take this lid off so that I can actually pour it in better. Get some good old onion flavor in there. Yeah. And, you know, I'm one of these people that does not measure anything. Nope, I don't measure. I just, I just flavor it. I, I do it to taste. So I'm going to throw in some onion powder and we're going to throw in some pepper. No, I don't measure. We're just going to start throwing some pepper in here. But I like to add good flavor. I don't really put any salt in because I'm not a salt freak. I don't really like adding salt to anything. Um, remember, I'm a healthy person. I, like everything very healthy so we're going to do a little more onion powder a little more pepper and everybody's always like oh my god this tastes so good what 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 old I, I can't even tell you how much i put in there i just chop up stuff add stuff and i just do it to flavor i do it to taste so and for some reason it always just freaking tastes amazing all the time so we're going to let these vegetables soften up a little bit before I add the turkey meat. And then I think that's about everything I needed to do. So once again, we're going to go over the ingredients. We're going to do, we did uh, chicken, organic chicken broth. Uh, we did some water. We did some chicken bouillon um, granules. I chopped up in here today. We've got sweet peas. We've got green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots. Normally I put tomatoes, but like I said, the twins don't like tomatoes, so we're not doing tomatoes this time. And they don't like onions, so we're doing onion powder, just so we get the flavor. And then of course we're doing leftover thawed out turkey breast, leftover from probably Thanksgiving or whatever. So I will be showing you guys the end result here shortly. Okay, so now we are going to start adding the turkey meat. I call it turkey meat, really. The poultry. The turkey. Whoops. I'm not the cleanest cook. Usually I have quite a little mess to clean up. Or Carolina helps me clean it up. But anyways. We're going to see how this turns out. Because tonight we're going to be having fresh chicken tortilla soup. Homemade. Do and the then tortilla what? The little tortilla strips. Yep. So then, when we serve this tonight, we serve tortilla strips, and we serve shredded cheese. Yeah. So it's in, it ends up being really, really, really good, really good. So once again, don't ask for the recipe because I don't know the recipe. I'm telling you the ingredients, but depending how how much you want to make, this makes a big pot full because it feeds me and Lamar, it feeds Tashina and the twins, 
it feeds Carolina. And you still have leftovers. And we still have leftovers. So, I don't know. It makes a lot. So, you guys can just cut up the veggies and the turkey breast to whatever amount you think is suitable. I probably have, what, eight cups of turkey, turkey breast in there? At least probably eight cups that I'm putting in here. And you saw this bowl was pretty much full of vegetables. So I would cut this probably in half, depending on, you know, and, and I don't mind having leftovers and then even freezing the leftovers. Like, if it's leftover, I'll go ahead and put it in a bowl and put it in the freezer and thaw it out at another time to eat. So you can see that it's thickening up, lots of meat, I'm sorry, not meat, turkey breast, lots of vegetables, it's looking yummy, it's tasting yummy. So there is the finished product for dinner tonight. So let's finish out this video. Okay guys, so I've literally let it set and simmer for about an hour. I like to let it just kind of simmer and marinate and let the turkey flavor get in there and the vegetables. I just like to get the flavor really cooked in there. So it's been simmering, marinating for about an hour. So I am going to take some now, just a little bit, kind of put into a little bowl. I don't need much. Let it cool off for just a little tiny bit. And what I'm going to do is kind of do a taste test. I've got to get some... I've got to get a spoon. I've got to get... So I like to use these little tortilla strips. You can get the colored ones and you can get the southwest ones. Either or, doesn't matter. So we're going to open these up. And then I like to just use like the Mexican four cheese, like simple, simple. So first I'm going to taste it just to see if I have it seasoned right. So I'm going to just get a little bit of the broth in my mouth. Oh yeah. I love it when I just get the pepper right and the onion flavor right. Perfect, perfect. So, anyways, now what I'm going to do, take a little bit of the cheese. Remember, I don't have much in here, so I don't, I don't need a lot of cheese. But I'm going to take just a little bit of the cheese, get it in there and get it really mixed around so it's kind of cheesy. Okay, let me, let me zoom in here. So I'm just putting the cheese in there, so it's just getting cheesy. And then, like I said, you can either use the colorful tortilla strips or you can use the Southwest Santa Fe. I'm sorry, Santa Fe style. Either one. So, this one's got a little more of a tangier flavor, I think, than these do. But I'm just going to, since I opened this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. Anyways, we're just going to throw a couple of these little strips in there. Close it back up. So... You just kind of got some tortilla strips in there, some cheese. And I'm going to mix it all up. And we're going to do a taste test. Yeah. Oh! So good. So good. Mmm. Love it. I could even use more cheese. Mmm. So yummy. So that is basically my homemade chicken tortilla or turkey tortilla soup. Simple as heck, easy, fast. Normally we cook it more in the winter time than we do the summer, but because I had all these leftover vegetables, I don't like to let things go to waste. So I'm like, hey, why don't we just go ahead and make some chicken tortilla soup? I know it's not cold outside, but hey, Right now, it's so hot, I can't even stand outside and grill. Because when it's 100 degrees outside and the grill is hot too, standing there grilling and just profusely sweating is nasty. 
So if I can make something like this in the air conditioning of my home, I'm going to do soup all day long, like no big deal. So once again, let's go over mindset. So today we called it Mindset Monday instead of Motivational Monday because really guys, when it boils down to it, you get out of life what you put into it. And if you're always going to have a crappy attitude and a Debbie Downer attitude and a sour puss taste in life, then that's what you're going to attract. But when you have the mindset of being a winner and you put forth that effort and that mindset every single day, you're going to reap the benefits of it because that's what you're going to start attracting. It's just like I always tell you guys, don't ever walk into a room and be the smartest person in the room. Yeah, it's going to do your ego some good, but that's about all it's going to do. You actually need to go into rooms where you're actually probably one of the dumbest people in the room because you're going to be able to soak up all that wisdom and information and positive attitude and, and that positive mindset of successful people. It's amazing. It's amazing. Law of Attraction. Look it up. Look it up. It is a real thing. It is a real thing. If I'm around somebody for more than five minutes that's in a shitty mood, it brings me down so fast. And I'm like, ooh, Lord, i got to get away from you. <laughs> you know, nothing against you. You're probably a nice person, but your attitude sucks right now, and it's putting me in a sucky mood. So I just need to get myself away from you, like, right now. So... Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you understood the message today about mindset. Believe me, mindset controls everything in life. It really, really does. So get your, get your mindset set right. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you want more information like what I'm giving you today, you need to head over to the vault and join the vault because the vault is so amazing. And guess what? We have Thirsty Thursdays. And Thirsty Thursdays are for people that are thirsty, thirsty, thirsty for knowledge. And we give it all to you in the vault. It's amazing. And Thirsty Thursdays are fun because they're coaching calls. They're coaching calls. They're coaching sessions. And you get four of them a month. Well, and you'll be live. Like, people can ask you questions. Right. We're live. So, you sit there and... I mean, it's a live coaching session. It's not pre-recorded. It's not... You talking to somebody else, you know, somebody asked me the other day on, on Instagram, do you actually do the coaching calls or the coaching sessions or just somebody on your team? Me. You get me. So those coaching sessions are like $7.50 for an hour coaching session. And it's fun too because you're and laughing fun. and learning. And, and there's other people in there with you and it's amazing and people are just bouncing things off each other. Thursday night, we're unveiling people's vision boards. So. It's going to be fun, and I don't even know if Tashina got hers done yet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, mmm. <laughs> so, also, keep an eye out for Fashion Woodlands ticket sales because they're going to be going live sooner than we anticipated. So, I hope you go over to TeresaRomer.com and click on Fashion Woodlands and hit Remind Me when those tickets go on sale because we thought that we were going to put them on sale October 1st but they're actually going to go on sale faster and sooner than that because we just opened up an extra hundred tickets because we're making this event even bigger than it was last year so if you're not if you're and the event sells out people the event sells out so if you're interested you're going to want to get reminded when those tickets go on sale that, so you can get one immediately and also we're opening up the closet this year so if you, be, if you buy a VIP ticket, your VIP ticket will include admission to the closet. If you're getting a general admission ticket, you will have to do a $20 donation at the door to the Make-A-Wish Foundation to be able to have admission to the closet. Plus, so, VIP is unlimited drinking. And VIP is unlimited drinking. So anyways, it's, it's all spelled out if you go look it up uh, on Passion Woodlands. So with that said, guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday mindset. Get it right. Get it tight. <laughs> There's a song that says that. What? It's like, get it right, get it tight. You know the song. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna have to find so with that said, till next time, bye-bye.